okay, so this dog keeps barking every single time I try to get this video started. And as soon as I, like, he's not barking now, but as soon as I go, okay, let's get this going, that's when he's going to start barking. <sighs> okay, we're just going to do it. Let's get this going. So, uh, good. He didn't actually bark. This might work. All right. So, um, I have a script in front of me. Uh, this is kind of a 2018 recap video and it kind of dawned on me the other day how much we, we've grown the, the show, um, us as podcasters. And I just kind of wanted to go over it a little bit with you guys because, you know, it dawned on me that a little over a year ago, David, Dan, Andrew, and myself were sitting at MacArthur Park hoping people would show up for a live show in, uh, and we were, well, while we were discussing our hundredth episode, Jurassic Park. And it's hard to, to imagine that that's where we were at the beginning of the year. And now like that whole year was just filled with amazing stuff. So I'm just going to jump into it. So, um, this last year we, uh, released 50 more episodes and we had more special guests on than any, like the last two years combined, which is fantastic. Um, we met a new Weird Al podcast and uh, partook in a um, in an amusing Twitter flame war. <laughs> and uh, at least that was up until we did a crossover with them on Like a Surgeon. And that was a lot of fun. We participated in a live Twitch cooking show called Damsels and Dishes, where we cooked uh, Al-related foods. Uh, I had written and performed a Hamilton parody all about Weird Al or Alfred Matthew Yankovic and uh, had a hit number two on the Dr. Demento show for two months in a row. And uh, David and I both got to go see Weird Al in concert for our first time. Yes, I know. It's, uh, it's crazy that it had to be the ill-advised vanity tour, but hey, we couldn't afford it prior. Uh, and it was an amazing time. I got to embarrass myself by losing on Jeopardy. So that was fun. Dan and I got to go join the Weird Al community crowd and get like pretty much a front row seat to see Weird Al get his well-deserved, long overdue star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And that was incredible. We were if following that, we were invited to do a live show in Denver, Colorado for the first ever festival where we met a lot of amazing people in the Weird Al community, raised over $1,200 for Puerto Rico via the Hispanic Federation Unidos charity. Uh, we, and we made incredible friends and unforgettable experiences. I think having a tw Twinkie Wiener sandwich for the first time was uh, indescribable. We uh, also had the privilege of interviewing amazing people, special guests that we never thought we would have, like Lisa Popeil, who told us all about how she got to work with Al, and of course all about her infamous brother, Ron Popeil, and uh, the fact that she's going to be doing the, uh, the new Strings Attached tour is fantastic. Uh, the Gregory brothers, we had them on and they told us all about how Al had to be green screened in to do, uh, his part of Bad Home Raised Nasty Women, which was awesome. We got to see them perform in concert as well at a festival. And we even had Joe Early, one of Al's college friends back in the day. Uh, and he introduced us to some unheard gems of Al's early career. And we got to talk about those in great depth. Uh, and of course, even most recently, um, just as the show in general, one of the things that we knew that we ended up ha like, we knew we had to do it. It was inevitable, but we covered two months of polkas, polkas that began with polka essentially. And that was eight weeks of polkas, but we did it. We made it through. We survived the apocalypse. Uh, so there's that. And of course, with the Alpocalypse and of course, uh, with all of the episodes that we had this year, we had brought on amazing guests like Amanda Cohen, Jeff Nucera, Tony Goldmark, Richard, uh, Taylor, Richard Pryor. Yeah. We had Richard Pryor on Did you know that? No. Uh, Richard Taylor, AKA Bolognium, uh, Ian Bonds, Jeff Whitmire, Kelly Phillips, Alicia McCarney. Rachel Burson, Bradley Mellenbacher, Eli Morgolis, Pickles Kentaro, Austin Ash, 
Gage Agnew, Alphabetical, Spider-Man Minute, It's Personal, and of course, Stephen Charlie from We're All Yankovics. As I said, it's just with all of that, like it's been a huge year, an incredible year for us. And, you know, we're, we're determined to make this next year, 2019, even bigger. We're talking more live shows, more guests, more crossovers, more interviews, more deep dives, more concert experiences, more advanced sound equipment, possibly. And, of course, more inside jokes, more waterfall discussions, probably, and more insanity. We'll not only be approaching our 200th episode this next year, but also some widely anticipated songs that we've been wanting to cover since the beginning of the show. Yeah, we're... Ooh. A saga begins, people. The saga begins. And of course, I, I don't think we could I could do a video like this and not thank everybody who helped us out throughout this entire year. The accomplishments that we made could not have been a thing without the love and support of our listeners, the patience and understanding of our loved ones, the opportunities presented by people who had faith in us, the warm welcome from the Weird Al community, and of course, the big guy himself, Al, whom without him, obviously we wouldn't have this show. So again, thank you to everyone who I named, everyone who has listened, every, just everyone. If you're watching this right now, thank you. Because again, 2018 was a great year and we're excited for 2019. And for now, happy holidays. Enjoy your time with your loved ones, like I know we are, and I guess we'll see you in 2019. We still have one more episode, though. We still have one more episode. It's going to go out on uh, New Year's Eve. Pretty fly for a rabbi. Whew, breaking out of the polkas, but that's going to be a fun one. And, oh, yeah, and yes, I know keen eyes from the Weird Al community will be probably rolling their eyes the fact that I'm wearing this right now. And yes, it is a boot, the bootleg sweater and it should be rightfully shunned by the Weird Al community. But let me just say this, um, before that was all blowing up on the forums in Weird Al, the Weird Al close friends group, uh, I got a little bit too much eggnog that previous night. So that, let this be a lesson to you kids. Don't drink too much of that eggnog. In fact, honestly, don't drink any eggnog until like you're old enough. And even then, be wary. Because you might do things you regret. Like, help people break international copyright law. Like this guy did. That's, it's unforgivable. But hey, I got it. I couldn't get a refund on it. So here I am. And I might as well use it. But instead of focusing on this, you should be focusing on this, which is a pin from uh, Ethan's Enamels, and uh, they're they're fantastic. You should definitely pick up some of these. They look fan. They, this is just one of them. There's a few others, and they're great. Uh, link to that will be in the, in the description. So forget forget this. Support the independent creators. <laughs> and uh, happy holidays.